We have a feature called Signal Integrity Monitor intended to check the speaker lines and the amplifiers and the line coming into the amplifier when no program audio is. To do this, we use sub and supersonic tones. If we go to the general scheme, at the bottom of the page, you'll see a tab called GPO. Now the amplifier must be unmuted for this operation to work correctly. If we go to the GPO screen, we see the top is channel 1, the bottom is channel 2. This first little box is the input pilot tone detection. So you could send a tone from an source before the amplifiers such as an external DSP or a console or any tone generator at a certain frequency let's say 20,000 Hertz or let's say 21,000 Hertz and we can set an upper and lower threshold for that signal so we'll say 0.05 volts to 0.29 volts a little low, but it will work for this application. And if we enable the alarm, the amplifier is going to be verifying it sees a tone at 21,000 hertz coming into the amplifier. So, with the upper and lower threshold, we can actually see things, small changes, such as a shield hitting pipe uh, or some problem with the signal generator. As you can see, it went red on the screen. And if I go to my events list, we'll see it logged in on the events at the latest. And here at the bottom, GPO Tilot Tone out of range. That is the input pilot tone detection. We then take a processor and notch that filter out wherever this frequency is set to. I will undo it. We can then put a pilot tone out of the amplifier at a different frequency. This is a subwoofer, so for this test I am going to use 20,000 Hz at an output of 5 volts. If I enable the internal generator to send out this tone, I then can check it on the output pilot tone detection. Uh, this next box, I can enable the alarm. This is checking the output section of the amplifier at 20,000 Hz with a threshold of 4 to 5 volts. So, this is inaudible. We cannot hear this 20,000 Hz. If we look in the box, we can see it's got a detected amplitude of 4.4 volts. So, we should be good there. The next box is my output load monitor. My output load monitor checks the speaker that is connected at 20,000 Hertz. If we look in the box, we can see it's detecting an impedance of 27.27 ohms on the subwoofer at a frequency of 20,000 Hertz. So I could set my upper and lower threshold, let's say 25 to 30 ohms, uh, do a load alarm, and then I can disconnect the speaker and everything's fine now. Uh, so I'll go ahead and disconnect that speaker. Please note that when an alarm goes off on GPO, the computer, once it's set, the computer does not have to be on for it to send an alarm. On Due Canale, there is a closure output and auto canale that can be monitored for an alarm without the computer. However, with K-Series, you must have the computer online to detect any alarm. As you can see, it's gone red. The speaker is disconnected. I will now reconnect the speaker. I will go to the log to show you that it actually has been logged as a load GPO impedance out of range, channel 1. We'll go back. The speaker is now connected. We'll give it a few seconds to acknowledge that it is, in fact, in the range.